I grew up in Lebanon. My friend Pete and I are on a road trip retracing the route of my family holidays into Syria. We're on a mission to find some caves that I carved my name in as a boy. Today is our last day in Lebanon before we enter Syria. We arrive in Baalbek, headquarters of the Islamic fundamentalist organization Hezbollah. The party of God, proponents of suicide bombings and seemingly rather canny merchandisers. What's that? Sure, hey. This is Hezbollah? Hezbollah t-shirt. Hezbollah t-shirt? Okay. Wahad. How much? Uh, 5,000. Oh, my friend. Come on, 5,000. Oh, no, 20,000. 20, 20, 20, 6,000. Excuse me. Can't Wallah. believe I'm haggling oh, with Hezbollah. Okay, okay. <laughs> $20, okay? Wow. Yes? Bienvenue, vive la France. Vive la France. Vive la Liban. Vive Hezbollah. Oh. Vive John Prescott. Oh. <laughs> with the ruins of Baalbek currently under the control of Hezbollah, who are not exactly known for their party scene, it's pretty ironic that this ancient Roman site was dedicated to Bacchus, the god of wine, dance and sex. This is the equivalent of a kind of a Club 1830. Yeah, this was party central times. for like six, seven hundred years. After a busy sort of year at the Forum, yeah, you take here, a package holiday yeah. down to Baalbek and you just get, and get absolutely, absolutely wasted. Yeah. Do you want me to read a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go on, but you, you do. <laughs> Baalbek's enthusiasm in its worship of Baal's consort Baalbek was always one of the first stops on our family expeditions. I mean, I had hoped coming back they'd have finished it, but still no progress. Those are the biggest columns in the world. You used the word girth, didn't yeah, you? because their girth is 2.3 metres wide. That's big, isn't it? Yeah. That's horse boy. Yeah, so they're only six, they used to be 59. I mean, this is the most incredible place, and there's yes, absolutely no one here. Do you think it has something to do with the town being a kind of headquarters for Hezbollah? I suppose that might put some people off. But it's nice for us. I think it's very nice. Yeah, it's great. It's Hezbollah should move in some more tourist yeah. areas. Yeah. If Hezbollah took over Paris, it'd be a lovely city. 